Hey everyone, today we are going to do something pretty cool. We've got this big pile of cardboard behind us and we are going to use that to make a geodesic dome. So last year before we moved into the house we're in now, we had a much smaller space and we built one little tiny house with these screws from Elmer's. Those were pretty cool and they worked really well, but when I went to go buy more, they're a lot more expensive. And I found these screws from Make Do on Amazon and you can just buy the screws themselves. So we went with those screws this year. I work as a driver for a post office contractor and Amazon delivers all these big boxes to the post office and then I just asked if we could take it and we're going to use this to build our dome. So our first step in making our template is to draw our first line 22 and 1 8. Then we find our midway point and measure all the way up with that same measurement. We will then use the distance of our B to meet where it meets this middle line and that will be our A, B and B. All right, so we got our first triangle together. This is our all A triangle as you can see and each of these measurements are 22 and 1 8. I'll put up the rest of what we did, the websites we used. So if you guys wanna see how we came to these measurements, you guys can see that. This is the dome calculator that I used. V simply stands for vertex. I used 2V because I didn't want to make something that looked like it was out of Iron Man 2. When you click on the calculator, you will enter in your dome radius. Note that this is in meters. You then get your length of your A and your B, but I was completely lost and I had no idea what to do with these measurements. So I searched through their facts and found that they have a way to convert that number into feet and inches. Using the dimensions from the dome calculator, I took those and put them into an Excel sheet and converted them into feet and inches and was able to get my A of 22 and 1 8 and my B of 19 and 5 8. Now I am a very visual learner and needed more than just a number, so I went to the Google machine and typed in geodome cardboard. The first link that came up for me was excellent. It had a lot of great pictures and instructions on how they created their dome, including how they added tabs to make assembly easier. Again, I will link all these in the description. And to make the tabs that we're gonna use to fold and piece it all together, all I did was come in an inch and a half this is two and a half inches wide, and then I just drew this line down, you know, at an inch and a half. And I'll do that on all sides, just like that one. And then once this is done, we'll cut these two out and go ahead and start tracing a bunch more and get cutting. For tools, I'm not really using anything crazy, just a simple square tape measure. And we're using this as a straight edge, but it's a level. The boys have a system going where Ty sits on the template and Porter traces it out. So that's going pretty well now. One done, 29 more to go. It's gonna be a long day. made 18 of our 30 pieces that we need and we only went through one piece of cardboard we have that whole stack so we have quite a bit of cardboard left cardboard's not going to be an issue boys are 
doing their job and I'm over here cutting stuff out. We also had to go find some different markers because um, we killed the other ones. They stopped working. All right, this is the last one we have to do. Okay. How do you feel? Awesome. All right, so we have all of our AAA pieces here. We have all of our ABB pieces right there. Tomorrow, we <coughs> will be putting it together. We're quite excited. It took us about four or five hours worth of cutting out the cardboard and the boys enjoyed it for the most part. And we will see you guys tomorrow. All right, we are back. And today is the day we put it all together. So these are the screws that we will be using by Makedo. This is the little tool that we bought that kind of comes with it. The top part is a little poker to help you get the screw in. Then the other side, the other side, the other side is this right there and it gets screwed on like that. So for each box of 120 screws, um, they were like $26 on Amazon. I don't know if we'll need that many. I hope we have enough, really, because that would suck not to have enough. And then the little tools are like 10 bucks each. So all together, I spent about $100. These are the two images that we found that we're gonna help to build it. So this one is more of a 3D version of what it will look like and where the A's go and all the A, B, B's go. And then this one is kind of the overhead broken down version. So we know how it will kind of come together if we need to have a different point of view. So we're going to build these five green ones first. Oh, you guys can do it. I don't know what to do. Look, look at the picture. We don't know what to do. We're just a child. <laughs> we need to screw them together. Oh, not where my hand is, but like right here. But they aren't even. We get the camera a lot closer when we do this. Okay. Okay. Oh. I'm just screwing it the wrong way. Yes, you are. And you gotta put some pressure on it. Should be one on this side and one on the other side, but the head's on. Okay, we just do this a thousand million times. Are you joking? No. A million more to go. just got those done I think we're gonna have to make some more we'll see let's go ahead and put them together yeah. let's go do the other side my hands are getting super tired holding all the little pieces together so I just went and grabbed some of the clamps I have and it's made holding these together a whole lot easier. I think it's cool how That's good time. plastic screwdriver can go through cardboard pretty well. It's actually starting to take some shape. All right, last piece. Let's put it together, boys. Yay! Dang, that looks pretty awesome. How excited are you guys? Awesome. Awesomely excited. Awesomely excited. Definitely want it to be bigger, so we might make another one, or we might just make this one bigger. We'll see. We're getting pretty close to being done. Just putting all the A's together. Then we have our final piece that will go right on top. Last. Peace. How do you think we close it up? Do you think we did it wrong? Huh? What? Did we do something wrong? I hope not. What about that 
I don't know how it'll fit though. Like, how does it fit? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, we knew it would happen, but we are made our first mistake. We only put four of these on, of the ABBs over there, and we needed to put five on. That's why our top only has four sides. So we're gonna go ahead and take stuff apart. All right, this looks much better. We've got our five sides on top, making it look like a dome. As you can see, we also took off one of the panels and made it our door so we can get in and out. All right, we have our final piece. Let's go ahead, get it on. So we are all done now. It is fully assembled. What do you guys think? It, it was awesome. It was hot. It <laughs> was a lot of cardboard. It was a lot of boring work. Boring work? Yeah, boring. But is it worth it? Yep. Yeah. I think it's going to be pretty cool. The boys do want to try to sleep in this tonight, so we'll <laughs> get you some free. <laughs> All right, so Ty clamped his lip. <laughs> Typical Ty, but we'll uh, show you guys when the boys are set up and ready to camp inside here tonight. And here is the finished product. Pretty happy with it. Let's go ahead, take a look on the inside. So it was pretty hot in here when we went in so we put these holes so it would allow more air in so it wasn't as hot then but it's still pretty hot in here and it's pretty small so i think that i'm gonna build another one but much bigger the boys think they're gonna sleep in here tonight and we'll, we'll see how well that goes but in the morning, like Porter said, we're gonna get to work on the bigger dome. Well, it's been two days, but I finished my dome. So we went from this to that. I call it Porter's dome. And it's twice the size of that little guy. Porter really did probably 90% of this on his own. And I'm pretty proud of that because he took the initiative and all I did was help him with the dimensions. I made one template of each of the A, B, B and one for the all A and he went from there. It's even almost as tall as me. Not that I'm really all that tall anyways. Let's take a look inside. Whoa! So to build this one, we essentially just doubled what the other one was put in a radius of six into the calculator, use those dimensions to get my feet in inches again, went and did this whole thing all over. But it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Did you like doing it, Port? Yeah. This one is definitely a lot bigger. I can sit up with ease. There's a lot more air going through, so it's not as hot. And I think the boys will enjoy this one a lot more. All right, well, we had a lot of fun making these geodumes. We really hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, We'd love for you to watch some of our other videos where we go camping as a family and I do a little bit of solo camping from time to time. Thanks for the smash that like button and hit subscribe. See you on the next one.